in the delivery room, um, there's going to be a team of people to take care of your baby, uh, and our main job is to stabilize your baby. So there will be a neonatologist, a neonatal nurse, and possibly a respiratory therapist. Um, most babies with gastroschisis uh, don't have problems with beat breathing or uh, with their heartbeat, but we want to make sure that those things are taken care of. Once we're sure that your baby is breathing okay and the heart is beating strongly, then we need to take care of the gastroschisis by supporting it. Um, because we don't want it to twist too much. The intestines are outside the body, and if they twist too much, they can be injured. So we wrap the, um, uh, the intestines and support it. Uh, we keep a, uh, put a, actually a plastic bag around the lower part of the baby's body to keep uh, the intestines moist, and we actually put warm saline solution, that is um, a solution that is the same body chemistry as your blood, into this bag to make sure that the intestines stay moist and that they don't get injured. We then transport your baby back to the intensive care nursery. So in the intensive care nursery, um, because your baby can't eat and needs to get fluid and nutrition, we would put in IVs to be able to give your baby the blood sugar, the fluids, and the other nutrition that you, your baby would need. And we would continue to support the gastroschisis physically to make sure that there's not too much twisting or too much um, pulling on it by putting uh, gauze pads around it. We would also make sure that it stays moist by again keeping this plastic bag with warm uh, saline solution inside the bag. The uh, pediatric surgeons uh, come very soon afterwards to uh, do their initial repair which is to put the gastroschisis uh, into a plastic bag called a silo and the silo then further protects the gastroschisis while the surgeons uh, perform their evaluation.